Oh, you guys already know what time it is. So today's video, we're going to be looking over the top 5 gadgets you guys should buy in Pixel Gen 3D. Now, in the most recent update, you guys all know it, um, for the people that actually played this game way into the future, um, the gadget that was removed in this game is Resurrection. Uh, if you are not familiar with it for some reason, um, if you're not level 27, you're definitely not familiar with it. This gadget, when you die, uh, for a couple of times in a match, you resurrect and you will be able to have another chance to kill somebody. This thing was easily spammed in the higher level players up to levels 27 and up. Um, the most used gadget in this game, they removed it and they gave the gems back to everyone that purchased the resur resurrection gadget and used it. So yeah, let's get right into this video. So for our first gadget on this list is the Ninja Shurikens right here. Now the Ninja Shurikens are one of the very good gadgets in the throwing section in Pixel and 3D. Um, many reasons are for this. The Ninja Shurikens have can deal headshots, so when you do get a headshot, it will most likely kill somebody. And this thing has a very low cooldown, so you can easily get you can easily just repeat, repeat on um, destroying these things. I am now it does take a little bit to cool down, but it's a lot lower of a cooldown than all of the other gadgets in this game with cooldown of 20 to 25 seconds. I don't remember, but the Ninja Shurikens definitely a really good gadget. As you guys see here, it's a one-shot headshot that takes someone out with full admin armor. Uh, something that I also need to know about the Ninja Shurikens is that um, against a robot samurai, Ninja Shurikens fire three shurikens at one time, and if you get all three shurikens to land on a robot samurai, the robot samurai will be killed and the person that's inside the robot samurai. I'm probably not going to show an example of that, I may attempt some tricks video of how to do that, um, you guys can go check that out. But it can one shot a row at Samurai if all of the shurikens connect. So yeah, definitely a very very good gadget, definitely the best one in the throwing section in Pixel Gun 3D. Very 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 good gadget. The next gadget on this list, you guys expected this, with the Robot Samurai. The Robot Samurai has been in the game for a couple of updates now, and this thing definitely stands up to its prime. This thing takes two or three shots, up to three shots to kill someone with max armor, and it is definitely a force to be reckoned with. With the Robot Samurai, like I explained with the Robot Samurai Shurikens, it can easily be one-shotted from the Ninja Shurikens if you're not careful when someone is using them, but the Ninja Shurikens cannot, it's definitely one of the more powerful gadgets you got to take out in this game. Another thing to note about the Roa Samurai is that it actually takes a very long time to cool down like most of the other gadgets in this game, so it's not really anything super drastic about a uh, downside with the uh, Roa Samurai. I can't even think of it, but the Roa Samurai is definitely very good, especially when you're about to die like I have two health right now. It's definitely really good for like a last resort thing, and it's definitely a very, very good gadget that I recommend you guys buying now. They changed the prices of this thing for quite a few times. This thing used to be 520 gems for some reason, which I never understood, and I think they lowered it. So, it's definitely not super expensive. It, it's probably like 200 or something, but it's definitely worth getting and easily takes out players, especially when you don't die. You can easily get, like, easy kill streaks with it. As you guys see here, at definitely getting all of the kills that you will always get with this Rora Samurai if you do use it at the right time here. So, yeah gonna be it for the Roar Samurai, let's get on to the next gadget on this list. Now the next gadget on this list is the Reflector. Now the Reflector is an interesting one. Um, you guys can easily tell what this gadget does just because of the name of it. If you do get damage from something, uh, the Reflector will reflect the damage 50% back. So if something is way more than a one shot kill, like it takes twice as many shots, not twice as many, but it, it's, it's always guaranteed a one shot kill even on body shot, if you use the reflector on them they will die in one single shot for example if you use something like the ghost lantern or the soul stone on someone with the reflector um if you just run into the front of the ghost lantern uh with the reflector on the person will die that fired the ghost out of the ghost lantern so that's something i really need to note again with the kind of slow cooldown but when you have it ready um if someone's about to kill you and that you know that they're going to kill you just fire it up and you will just just make sure you just catch all the shots like I, that guy almost died there. He did shoot me with the Ninja Shurikens, I'm pretty sure. And he has 8 health yet, so it does quite a, quite a bit of damage, even though it's only 50% damage. So it's definitely a gadget that I recommend getting. I don't know the price of this gadget. Um, this came out since gadgets were first released in 2016. So comment down below if you guys do know the price of all these gadgets in this game right now. Uh, against the Roma Samurai, uh, you can 
kind of take it out. Um, you gotta do damage to someone with the Roro Samurai in order to take out a Roro Samurai with only the, uh, with only the Reflector. It's a little difficult to pull off, but, um, if you just use it on a Peacemaker while using the Reflector, I could have demonstrated that, but if you just use a weapon and a Reflector at the same time, you will most likely kill the person that's trying to kill you. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this gadget. Let's get on to the next one. Now the next gadget on this list is the Guardian. Now the Guardian did get nerfed quite a while ago. This thing used to take only four bullets just to take someone out. But even so, this thing is still a very, very good gadget. For 10 seconds, this thing will always uh, just fire at someone that's nearest to them. And it will take 10 shots to kill someone with max armor, which is still pretty good. This thing was extremely OP when it first came out. Uh, used to take only four bullets and it killed pretty people pretty easily you can even get like five kills with it in just one round of using it it was pretty good op it's a little bit more balanced now but it's still one of the better gadgets in this game again with the kind of slow cooldown like most of the other gadgets in this game except for the ninja shurikens and i think the health like the med kit but yeah the guardian you guys definitely know how good this thing is if you have used it um, it's definitely a very, very good gadget. I recommend you guys using every once in a while. So, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 8, 11. So, 10 to 11 shots to take someone out with a, with max armor. So, it's definitely really good if you're just only using the Guardian. It kills them in a pretty reasonable amount of time. So, it's definitely a really good gadget. And, uh, gonna get on with the last gadget of the video. For the last gadget of the video, we have the Stealth Bracelet. Now, um, if you have used a stealth bracelet, this thing is definitely very well known for, for having players have a way more difficult time just trying to kill someone. This thing is actually really, really useful just because of that. Um, other than that, there's not really a lot of like a really good advantage that the stealth bracelet has. It makes it a lot harder for a, a player to see a person. Um, you know, you have the little stealth particles that pop up when you use the uh, stealth bracelet, but um, it does make it a little bit harder to see players, but it definitely makes it a heck of a lot harder, especially sniping someone with this thing. It's very, very, very difficult to snipe someone when they're using the stealth bracelet. It's very impressive when you do pull it off. And if you guys see here, I don't think I've died once trying to use this thing when someone tries to kill me with it. It's very difficult to do. I'm going to try to get kills while I do this. But yeah, stealth bracelet... It's very, very good in the game, especially in dual mode when someone's trying to kill you at the last second, um, they will have a lot of difficult time trying to do it. So, yeah guys, that's pretty much it for top of the gadgets I want you guys to buy in this game. They're all very good gadgets, it's not a, like, a top 5 list, I, not really a top 5 list, but, like, just 5 gadgets I recommend you guys buying in the game, especially when Resurrection has been removed. So yeah guys, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot. I will be making more videos like this whenever there are pretty good, pretty big changes that happen to this game. There's always changes that happen. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.